Whenever I release music and use a pre-save page, I'm always wanting to make sure that I get the most pre-saves that I can, the most listens, and also be able to tell who is visiting that pre-save page. Here are three tips that I didn't know when I first set up my hyperfollow page over on District Kid for getting the most out of that hyperfollow pre-save page. I'm Marcus, AKA Cradle Cat, and if you want to see more videos on music production, live songwriting sessions, or breakdowns of my own music, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. Also a big thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. I've been using DistroKid for all of my recent releases here in 2020 and have been really pleased with it. It's a really cost-effective way as an independent musician trying to release more frequent singles to get your music distributed. If you also make music and want to distribute your music to online stores, I've also included a referral link that'll give you a discount on your first year subscription over at DistroKid down in the video description. Now let's walk through those three ways that I get the most out of my hyperfollow page for pre-saves. The first tip that I have is uploading a new song art image for that pre-save page so that you're taking advantage of the screen real estate on mobile devices better. You can see that with the default square song art image that's uploaded when you upload your song, that takes up a lot of the view on mobile. However, I went ahead and made my own new song art with a different dimension so that it's much shorter. And you can already see on my iPhone screen, it's not even one of the larger screen ones, that you can see the Spotify link before even having to scroll down. So that's just really putting the content you want them to interact with above the fold on mobile, just making it so they don't have to scroll down in order to take that pre-save action on your Spotify links or whatever store you have at top. If you want to add your own custom song art image with the same dimensions that I just used, I'm using an image with the dimensions 4864 pixels by 1280 pixels. So go ahead and upload that to your hyperfollow page and you'll see those streaming links and pre-save links bumped up on that screen for mobile. The second tip that I have is getting the most out of the traffic you are driving to that pre-save page by using a Facebook pixel and your Google Analytics code. This will let you retarget and remarket to the visitors of that pre-save page. So if somebody visits your hyperfollow page, you can use those tracking codes to run an ad campaign against those same people that visited your site to promote something like your newest music video. To add those tracking codes, you'll edit your hyperfollow page and go down to the analytics code section and paste in both your Facebook pixel and your Google analytics code. The third and final tip that I have is to make sure your primary store links are available as soon as possible. So for the most part, those will be auto-populated as you're uploading your music. But sometimes you might have a song live on a store before that link gets automatically put into your hyperfollow page. You can manually add those links for any stores that have your song live on them by copying the song link from that store going to your music links section of your hyperfollow edit page and pasting that in to the right service. Thanks for watching those three tips on getting the most out of your DistroKid hyperfollow page, and any pre-save campaign that you might be running for your releases. If you found this video helpful and want to see more content on music production, live songwriting sessions, or just more of my own music, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.